welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, today we'll be addressing a question that we see online very often. Are die costs a good investment? Uh, these two models were a good investment in their days. And that's four or five years ago. You could buy them for very cheap and now they are sold for very high prices. We will also show you that information later. We will show you some examples of diecast cars that could could be a good investment for the near future. We will tell you everything that you need to watch out for, what traps there are in the in that uh, in the diecast world. So let's get right into the video. Why did these models increase in value? Now, first of all, uh, both models are uh, uh, iconic: eh? Subaru Impreza and the uh, uh, Mitsubishi Lancer. And uh, for a long time now, they are not uh, they are sold out at the manufacturer, and they will not uh, come back. So then you uh, often you will see that the prices uh, will go up. So what you need to keep an eye out for is something like this: limited edition, very very low pieces, only 20 pieces made worldwide. This is number 10. Number one will always always be worth more, but you need to watch out not to buy a one-off. They need to be individually numbered because if you buy one off, it's one of 500 and not number one from the 500. That's what you need to watch out for. Also, detailing is very important with collectors. A very well detailed model will most likely increase in value. We cannot, this is not guarantees or anything like that, but that's what we have seen from the experience that we have the past years. Now we will show you a model that you shouldn't buy if you want to increase value. So as we have told you, uh, the, this model is one of 111. So this is not number one. Uh, the BBR model that I just showed you, the Lancia, that's one that most certainly can go up in price. This one is a maybe because the car is pretty wanted. We sell a lot of these online and only 111 pieces. So the value can go up. It's not sure. We don't know it for sure, but that's a possibility. And this is a car that will be a no-go. And it's this one from Motormax. As you can see, not limited, very poorly detailed. It's more toy car than a collector's car. So a diecast collector will never pay a lot of money for one of these. In fact, I don't think that any collector will buy these. They will go for more something like this. Look at the details. This one is not detailed. And this one is very well detailed. So this is other things that you need to watch out for if you want to invest in model cars. Uh, the, how limited they are, if they are sold out by the manufacturers. Uh, small uh, quantities of production that will help also. And the detailing. So we hope to have helped you and informed you well. You can always come to our store to, if you want to invest in model cars and get advice from us directly. Uh, I'll put the, the store information on the screen now. Uh, make sure to visit our website. The limited editions are also on there. And we will see you again in the next video. Bye bye.